You know, in my last video I was talking about uh, 2 Corinthians 10 35 or 10 verse 5 uh, where Paul said you know or going back to verse 3 he says for though we walk in the flesh we don't war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly but mighty through God to the pulling down or the destruction of strongholds and you've got to realize what he said in Ephesians when he said that, you know, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and wickedness in high places. And we've got to realize our placement when we were baptized into Jesus Christ and into his death, that we also believe that by the miracle that God wrought when he raised Christ from the dead, that we were raised together with him to the right hand of God, far above all principality and power and rule and dominion. So that where is Romans 7.23, where he's talking about the law of sin that it was in our flesh because of the first man, Adam, selling us under sin, as he describes in Romans 7.14, for the law is spiritual, but we are fleshly sold under sin. And you see that described in 7.23 where he says, "For the I see another law other than the law of Moses in my flesh, in my members, waging war against the law of my mind, bringing it into captivity to the law of sin that's in my flesh. But then you see the law of life that's in the spirit of Christ in Romans 8, 2, that frees us from that law of sin and death. And we've got to realize that it is only as we do not put ourselves under the law that we continue in that liberty from sin because 1 Corinthians 15, 56 tells us that the sting of death is sin, but the strength of sin is the law, the law that God gave to Israel by Moses. And we see in, so we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses, verse 4, that our weapons are mighty through God. So, there again, we're not depending upon ourselves, but we're talking about the the power of the Holy Spirit whom we've received of, who we are sealed with unto the day of the redemption of our body. And uh, he says, casting down or dist uh, demolishing imaginations, uh, arguments, images, whatever, that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You know, so we see that contrast from where before we were, before we were freed from the law and our mind was held in captivity to the law of sin that's in our flesh, that uh, now in Christ we've been empowered to combat that because he says in Colossians 1 21 through 23 that we who were once alienated from God by wicked works in our mind now as he reconciled us back to, you know to himself uh, by the body of his flesh through death and uh, So, I, you know, really just wanting to show that contrast, you know, because it is only through faith. It is only through faith, which comes by hearing, but our hearing comes by the Word of God. Our hearing comes by the Word of God, and, and hearing is the only way that faith comes. And so to give strength, you know, to see this to see this connection I mean and that's why he says in 2 Corinthians 13 7 and 8 that we don't do what is right to appear you know approved or righteous he says for uh, J.P. Green Senior uh, uh, Greek English linear 
Bible, the fourth volume, renders that for we have no power over the truth but for the truth or to do the truth. You know, and you know, for years I read that uh, uh, as for we are born of the truth and can do nothing against the truth. And people are constantly uh, changing translations, thinking that they're saying something in a better way or whatever. But, you know, we see the revelation of it that, you know, as Peter said, we've been born again, not of a corruptible seed, but the incorruptible Word of God. And that is that washing of the water by the Word. You know, as, as we come into, as our faith increases in the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a full aged man that knowledge of the truth that makes us free from sin you know because by faith it is by faith that we obtain the promises of God in Christ and we walk in the liberty that is in him you know so anyway uh, amen <laughs>